Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we're playing level 157 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 30 moves to collect 25 green candies and 25 yellow candies. Now, we were just introduced to chocolate spawners at level 156, which will spawn chocolate on any available tile to them. Now, they cannot spawn chocolate diagonally, so since the left, right, and bottom squares uh, adjacent to this chocolate spawner are capped off by these empty tiles, it will only spawn directly above it. So make sure you don't have any specials right here, because they will get eaten. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I find this level to be one of the most boring levels of Candy Crush Saga. I mean, we have six colors, we have these strange gaps in the board, which means cascading is not likely to occur. Um, it's not a very high scoring level either. It's just kind of simple and very slow. It's incredibly difficult to th get three stars on. So I'm just kind of playing this level for any of you who may be stuck with it. And then I'm probably never going to play this level again. <laughs> just to be completely honest there. But here I see I can make a special with the green. And here I see see that if I could get a red here, I could remove this and it could potentially make a color bomb with the yellow. Unfortunately, this column is a portal, but this isn't. Anything um, uh, to fill in this column here, second to the right, anything has to slide from the left. So that means that this yellow potential would go away. So I'm just going to work low to the ground to encourage some cascading. I'm going to detonate specials where I can. I want to cycle through the candy on this board as much as possible in order to get 25 of each color to show up in order for me to collect it. It looks like it's going fairly well here. Um, specials, which are usually not very easy on this board, are kind of falling into place for me. I think this level's really easy because we do not have very many orders to collect. And um, maybe it's that's one of the reasons I don't find it very fun because it's so easy and uh, there needs to be a challenge in these levels for them to be very fun. Now here's a situation where I can make my own fun. I have a color bomb, I can match it with a wrapped candy and that's better than just going with the direct yellow because if I were to do that it would collect the yellow order but by going with a wrapped candy I not only collect yellow but I also collect everything on the board and get a fresh setup so I have uh, all the green collected now, and I just need three more yellow. So that's how I beat level 157 with a pretty good deal of luck and a lot of moves left over. And there we go. I have finally achieved three stars on this level. That is really hard to do, and that is another absolute guarantee that I'm never going to play this level again because that was the only reason I tended to come back here to get three stars. So not very fun for me if you find it fun. Uh, that's good. You can play this level, but that's how you beat it. If you're struggling with it, I would say bring in a color bomb to create some chaos for you at the start, and to bring in the element of fun. If you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I will try and help you with it. And as always, thanks so much for watching.